Now, stay with us, and Curtis is gonna share some tips on caping out your own deer for the taxidermist. So we pulled a cape off outside, mm -hmm. and you get a lot of guys will bring stuff to you, like in this form. Yep. But what we're gonna show you today, I know you showed us how to take the cape off of the, the body on a moose a couple of years ago, so today you're gonna actually show us how to take the cape off the head. Yep, yep. Okay, all right. So we just go in between the two antlers here, come back basically between the ears. And you can just stick the knife in. Always go with the grain of the hair. Don't go the I don't go against the hair. So you actually tube this one out rather yep. than cutting all the way yep. down the back. That yep. saves you some sewing down the road, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And you get a nicer product. Yeah. So you just need to make a small cut there, really. Yeah, because we didn't we didn't leave any neck meat on this deer. Yeah. So it saves me a lot of sewing and there's no stitch line, even though you know you can hide the stitch line. Yeah but there's no stitch line at all. So then on the back of this antler, you come about seven o'clock. I always stick my knife in at the pedicle or the burr. And we just go back, back to that where I started. And this one about five o'clock. Again, it's going with the hair. It's going with the direction. So I'm not splitting or cutting any against the hair. There we've got this nice triangle. I like to skin it down so you can see that muscle. That's the ear muscle, but cut it closer to the head. So you just cut the ear off hole and then yeah. you turn it out later? Yeah, but make sure you get close, when you cut down, you cut close to the head, not out into the ear. And you can just pull that. If you get that hide cut completely right underneath there in your first incision, you can just pull that hide around. And then I just go up. Lots of people make a mistake. When they go like this, they go out, and then they got like a triangular little slices. Just make sure your knife is always pointed inward towards the antler. That's what people struggle with a lot is getting that around the, the bases. Yeah, there we see it lots where it's just fingers of hide where they come out. You don't have to come out. You can go right up underneath that. And you can actually just put pressure on it like that and it'll actually just peel itself. Just take that. Same thing, you can just come in and Turn your knife up. Big, thick, bladed knives don't work for this. Nice, flexible knife. Just like that. You just put a little bit of pressure on it, and once that blade hits it, it just goes. You should be able to just pull that hide out. See, we cut nothing there. Just pulled it off. But you can't do it unless that is cut completely right up through. Here's the back of the eye socket again. And you just stick your finger in the eye, pull. It. Basically, you're trying to pinch your two fingers together is what you're trying to do. And then cut behind it. Now it ensures that you pulled that back of that eye away. Same thing with the front. Right here. That's called that's called the caruncle right there. That little knob in the front of the eye, every animal's got it. That, you just have to go back behind it against the socket. And then you got the duct. Again, see, I got my thumb in there. Got my finger on the nose. I'm kind of pulling on the hide for leverage. You just, you just got to scoop that out. You got the back of the mouth. And you just make this cut right there. And you can pull that. I always run my knife like that. I don't know. I can always feel the inside of the mouth. So you just try to take a lot of the lips with you? Yeah, take as much as you can. And once you get down to here, that nasal bone's gonna run out, so you're gonna run into the cartilage right there. 
Now you can just cut straight down. And then I bring the, the lips up to match. And then I get down to the bottom of that. I speed it. You just stick your fingers and nose and just peel it back. So then once the cape is off, if you can get that in the freezer. Yeah. Is, and otherwise it needs to be salted. Yeah, but don't salt it unless you know how to turn the ears and the lips and right. the nose. All that has to be turned first. Yeah. To get all yeah. that, any extra heat or anything yeah. like that off of it. But now, now you want to go put this in the freezer. Just throw it in a bag. That's it. Just dump it in a bag and... Now when, when I get it, if it's frozen, I can hang it by that nose, right? And it'll thaw evenly. <laughs>